What's going on guys? It's a uh, 4th July weekend. I'm out here prepping for a catfishing trip that we're going to take tomorrow night. So what I'm doing is I'm building some more limb lines. That way we got extras. That way when we find more spots to put some, we can put them out. So I thought while I was out here doing this that I would go ahead and kind of do a little quick show you how we build ours. That way you want to build some for yourself. Hey right, guys, this is what you're going to need to start building these limb lines. A 6 inch piece of 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. About 3 and a half inches of DOT reflective tape a one ounce bank sinker, a nine, nine alt wide gap cat max hook. This, I got this one at Bass Pro Shop and about 18 foot of this uh, nylon trot line cord. Okay, first thing I did is I went ahead and cut about 18 foot of this nylon trot line cord. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this lighter and I'm gonna take this in right here, heat it up just a little bit and kind of touch it together. That way it keeps it from fraying apart. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my nine all cook and my one ounce bait sinker and go ahead and fill it, put it on the line here. Let it go down. And the next thing, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tie a snail knot, which I'm no professional at tying snail knots. I'm not the best at that, so I'm not the one to show you that. So if you wanna do that, I would definitely look up some more snail knots on YouTube. That way, somebody who knows how to do it better and looks better doing it can show you how to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie that and then I'll get back to you after I do that. All right, guys, now I got this snail knot tied on this. I'm going to take my lighter, set it up right there, get it good warm, and it's going to be hot, so just kind of take and knot it up, make it where everything don't want to come apart on you. A snail knot should hold pretty good, but I always like to make sure I, I put that on there real, real good. Just remember that's going to be hot, so just be real safe when you're doing that. All right, now that I got that done, got my snail knot tied, I'm going to take my bank sinker, I'm gonna come up about one foot from from the hook, and I'm gonna tie a knot. Okay, now that that's tied in place, and what that'll do is hold that up there and give it about a foot for that brim to be able to swim around and entice that big old flathead or that big old blue. I guess so. What I did is I took put the uh, DOT reflective tape on the end of this PVC pipe. Very simple here. I'm really just going to take my line, run through the dead center of this PVC pipe, and I'm just going to tie a regular old, good old knot, just old, right there at the top of it. Just kind of double tie it a few times, that way it'll hold on to it. And then cinch that thing down, make sure it's good. And man, it's fairly simple to make these right here. Now you just kind of wrap that thing up. Okay, now you just wrap that thing up. Then you put your hook into your line a little bit right there, where it'll hold it. You get yourself a limb line, man. You're ready to go catfishing. Hope this was educational. Appreciate y'all watching. Until next time, we'll see you later.